Trey T. It's your boy D. Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Benadorm Season 3, Episode 7. Before we dive in, y'all know I need y'all to smash that subscribe button, ring notification bell, get a video, and thumbs up so you can see Oh my god! Now, this must be a Christmas special episode. A pound to have a shit on the plane. And you want me to forget it? No way, I'm taking this to the top. Just that man is leave dark. it. No, I won't leave it. The bacon back was only 90 pence this morning. It's cost me 10 pence more to get rid of it. Do you mind? Yeah, I do mind. That's why I'm making a complaint. God, where's the desk? She said it was here. The flights were only cheap. They've got to make money somehow. You're joking, are you? They're raking it in. Did you not see that drinks menu? Four pounds for a gin and tonic. When do you drink gin and tonic? I don't, but I do go to the bog and it's cost me the grand total of one pound for the pleasure. <laughs> you were in there about half an hour. What was I doing? I was getting my money's worth. <laughs> I was just getting on the coach. We're not getting a coach. Mel's sending someone to pick us up. See if you can see a sign with our name on it. Oh my God, what if he sent a limo? Come on then. Budget Airways, they're checking the piss. Oh Who budgets to spend a pound to have a tom tit on the plane? Oh, will you give over? You've paid it and it's done with now. Yeah, I know I've paid it, but it's annoyed me. Well, don't worry, you can't tell. What if we'd all wanted to go for one, hey? What if I'd wanted two? That's four quid. What would you want two for? It's only a two and a half hour flight. No, sorry, they've gone too far this time. There's no way I'm letting this one go. Shame you didn't say that on the plane. You'd have saved yourself a pound. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm letting this one go. Go. Shame you didn't say that on the plane, you'd have saved yourself a pound. Ah, oh, good one, Janice. <laughs> right, come on. Long time ago, hey, look at Mars, living a life. Mrs. Mel Harvey speaking. Mrs. Harvey, I'm at the airport. I can't find your daughter and your son-in-law. Hello? Who is it? What do you want? It's Liz. Mel's driver. Oh, it's you. I've told you I can hardly understand a word you're saying. You'll have to speak slowly. You're not in Wales now. <laughs> I am at the airport and there's no sign... There's no sign of Megan Janice. What do you mean there's no sign of them? They sent a text saying they landed half an hour ago. English couple in her early forties with a little blonde lad. You made a sign, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a sign. Oh, I think I've got them just here there. Well, that was a waste of time. No, it wasn't. I've got my complaint form. I'm checking this for the top. Oh, Mick. Janice. Yeah? Ah, oh, you're all right, Mrs. Harvey. I've got them. You should have said you were a mixed race couple. I would have spotted them straight away. I'm <laughs> Les, <laughs> Les driver. Welcome to Paradise. You all right, son? Yeah. You know that Mel's not back from Marrakesh yet. Yeah, I know, we heard. Business trick, my ass. He'll be sitting in a tent with a dozen belly dancers ripping up his return ticket. <laughs> Hey, 
Okay, everyone, bus station is through here and to the left. Who was, who was here? Where's my, where's my cool gay couple at, man? Where's my boy Martin? Any spare euros for the nuns of Altea? Uh, sorry, Church of Scotland. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. They had to scan my luggage three times. Honestly, have people never seen a handbag in the shape of a dash on before? <clears throat> Car, outside. Oh, who's she? Oh, ah, you about to get it. Oh, certainly. Who's it for? Me. Oh, is that a Spanish name? <laughs> Definitely about to rob up. Clear. Salutations. Hey, Mateo. Richard of York gained battle in vain. Are you talking to me? Are you talking there was a rainbow this morning. Richard of York gained battle in vain. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Have you lost the person looking after you? Now, <laughs> you please. What? A quaff of mead. A flag on the grog. A sneaky snifter. I like a drink. I think you had enough already. Ah, the sun is not yet over the yard arm, so don't let's go mad. Uh, what about a tomato juice? What about it? Can I have one? No. What do you mean, no? No, he's the opposite of Jess. I do not, don't try and get smart with me, young man. My father was on nodding terms with Franco, so don't talk to me like I'm a tourist. Oh, there you are. I've been waiting outside the loo for you. I thought you'd fallen in. This is your wife? Do you marry this crazy man? He's not my husband. We're just friends. Oh, I was about to say. Hey. I was about to say. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Where's my guy at, though? Where's Jeff? Where's Jeff at? Listen to me, Sonny. I've had my eye on you. For the last 15 minutes, you've contravened at least half a dozen level three European hygiene laws. One word to the powers that be, you'll be mopping floors at Alicante Airport. So, two tomato juices, please. Is everything all right? <laughs> all right, it is now. Oh, I don't believe this. I think I've left my glasses on the cistern. Can you take this? I won't be long. Oh, get us a couple of sunbeds. We'll do. God dang. Come on, man. That's a glass. Checking for the glasses. Right. As you were. Ah, dang. You better not rob moms, man. I know for sure you better not rob moms. Do I like that? No. There's no book up for six couples under the name of Stuart. You must be able to find us somewhere in the system. There can't be many parties of 12 booked in. You're joking, aren't you? There's that many stag parties booked in here over Christmas. It's beginning to look like an episode of It's a Knockout. Is it all right if we get a drink? I'm starting to gag. And I don't do that very often. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, hang on. Not the jazz band, are you? Jazz band? Middlesbrough Swing Association? It's actually Middlesbrough Swingers Association. Thank you, Marvin. Yes, you're quite right, that's us. I knew there had to be some kind of mistake. All right, we've got four triple rooms booked. That's correct. Hang on, four triples? I thought you were six couples. Yes. Well, come you've got four triples. Uh, hello, we're a swingers association. Thank you, Marvin. <coughs> we're on a budget. Budget, all right. Well, you'll all need to fill a form in and then it's one wristband each. What instrument do you play? Anything they put in front of me. Jesus Christ, what instrument do you play? Anything that you play. Oi, 
Lewis Hamilton. That sign on the motorway, 120 kilometers an hour. You do realize that's a limit, not a target. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The residence of Mr. and Mrs. Mel Harvey, Casa Blanca. Oh my God, look at it. No way. Casablanca. Crazy. How come it's painted orange? What do you mean? Well, what does Casablanca mean? Oh, it's the use asking me. I've never bothered with a lingua. Oh my God. That's crazy. My yeah, God. Home sweet home. Bloody hell. Oh my they God. They live in a life, bro. Right, I'll go and get the rest of the kisses. It's really way we never remember. Oh, yeah. Unless what's his face has got the wrong house. <laughs> right, come on then. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> well, it's definitely Mel's house. You can tell by the understated elegance, just like his car. <laughs> How come Mel's got so much money? He's a successful businessman. <laughs> yeah, that and he's got long pockets and short arms. You couldn't get a drink out of him if your gob was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's long my pockets. husband, you... He's got long pockets and short arms. Talking. I gotta start using that. I gotta start. Drink out of him if your gob was on fire. That's my husband you're talking about. Bloody hell! He's the creature from the Black Lagoon! <laughs> no way! Hey, 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 watch me mask. So what took you so long? I am not. Hey. Oh, isn't this lovely? Les brought us in the Benidorm car. It's a convertible, it's brilliant. You know, Mel's not back yet. I'm running the old place single-handed. Oh, well, at least you managed to drag yourself out of bed by uh, 10 to 11. I've been up since 7. I've just been in the outdoors jacuzzi. Oh, my God, you've got a jacuzzi. With a compliment to Mr. Mel Harvey. I'll bring it over here, then, instead of standing there like a tit in a crank. <laughs> what the bloody hell's happened to you? What do you mean? What do I mean? You look fire damaged. It's the new spare tans at work. <laughs> you look fire damaged. I swear to God, he do. Mick, try one out without reading the instructions. It was you what sprayed me. Kept asking you if I looked all right. Well, I didn't think it would dry like that. No, and it didn't. It got bloody darker. I went from Gary Wilmot to Sammy Davis Jr. in under half an hour. If you two have come here to argue, you can all piss off back <laughs> home. I want a nice, quiet Christmas. It's a time for peace. Goodwill to all men. Oi! Where the frig do you think you're going? I want another drink. <laughs> so when's Mel back then? I should have been back two days ago. Been murder getting a flight. There's a baggage handler strike in Marrakesh. Lazy bastards. Oh I'll give them a flute God. and a snake and a basket. They'll beg all day long. Oh you my should be God. ringing soon. Oh. Hey. That's better. <laughs> Bloody hell! Thought we were going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger underneath. I didn't expect the weather to be like this, ma'am. Who just thought we'd be outside a couple of days before Christmas? Oh, well, it's unpredictable. If you get a cold day and the wind changes direction, <laughs> you know about it. Yeah, and your face stays like that. <laughs> Breathe in a minute. Oh, well, you won't want to go in again then, will you? <laughs> never go in a jacuzzi. No, you can't. Where do you think you are, Alton Towers? Right, your bags are all in and I've unpacked for you. Uh, I hope you don't mind me seeing, Janice. That cream floral print skirt is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, but it goes lovely with that uh, plain scoop neck blouse. Right, I'll see you later. Oh, aye. What's with the Geordie Nicker sniffer? He's our odd job, man. Yeah, odd's the right word. <laughs> you want to keep your eye on that skirt. If he borrows it, it'll all be stretched to bugger it. Borrows it? Oh, Les! Zobby. What's that singer all right in the Solana? What singer's this? I don't know. Somebody else booked for the Benidorm Palace Christmas show. I've never heard of her. You did pick her up, didn't you? Ah, day. He did not. He did not pick her up. Hello, Nick. Yes, everything's great. Turn your mobile off, have a lovely Christmas, and I'll speak to you in the New Year. OK, then, lots of love. Adios. Solana. Oh, muchas gracias. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my 
one guy said, where the paper at? Where my bread? That's one of them there. I want you to keep your eye on them. But what are they doing? I don't know, but as soon as I find out what it is, I'll have them all out. Excuse me, there's nobody on reception. Yeah, I'm on my way over now. Are you checking in? No, no, I work for Mel Harvey, proprietor of the Benidorm Palace. Oh, yeah? How are they doing up there? Uh, not bad, thanks, but uh, it seems we've lost the start of our Christmas show. We've got a book in here for three nights, single room, so pull on. Oh, yeah, she's fantastic here. Eh? Hi, the eye. Holy ho. Hi, champion. Has she checked in? I saw it in musical once as well. Brilliant single has voice. She, yeah. Has she checked in? That's what we want to know. We ain't, we ain't here for the stories. We ain't here for the... <laughs> to go back in the memory. Has he checked in or not? Has she checked in or not? I know. Is she here? No, what was it? Oh Something about ships. Look at punk wash. I just need to know. Had it depends on. Has she arrived yet? Who? So pull on. Oh, no. I've not seen her. Oh, bollocks. Hey, hey. You are from the Benidorm Palace? Yeah. You're having talent competition, no? That's right. Maybe I can dance for you. Flamenco. No, we've got enough singers and dancers. It's novelty acts that we're after, to be honest. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yes, yes. Wait, I have more. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Sorry, did I overhear you saying you worked at the Benidorm Palace? Correct. And then you know Mel, Mel Harvey. Oh, I he's me boss, although he's away on business at the moment. Yeah, I'm Les. I'm more or less in charge. Hope now be nice to know you, Les. Is Les the one that acted as that girl when uh, Jeff was supposed to go on a date, but then there she showed up and put it really heat? And I feel like Les was the one who acted. Well, I'm here with a party of uh, what you might call very close friends, and we were wondering if you did any special deals for your Christmas show tomorrow night. You know, bring ten people, get two tickets free, that kind of thing. Yeah, just come up with a box office. I'm sure we can sort something out for you. Smashing. Yeah. So Mel and Madge are enjoying living in Benidorm, and we're personal friends of theirs. Well, yeah, obviously not that friendly, or you'd know that they don't live in Benidorm. They live in Altea. Oh, that's right, Altea. Nice place. Oh, I crack and villa. Five bedrooms, outdoor jacuzzi, swimming pool. I expect that we're having a big Christmas lunch. Oh, hey, they're getting the caterers in, Mark. Really? They do a Christmas dinner here, but they don't do all the trimmings. And my wife, Jacqueline, loves a good stuffing. Do we all, mates? <laughs> yeah, I'll best be up. Thanks, Laz. I'll get that group booking made. Yeah, you're welcome, any time. Him wasn't it. Let's have a sit down. I've seen him demonstrate a juice before, but it wasn't a patch on this. Oh, who'd have thought there were so many ways to fold a blanket? My point exactly. I once went on a cruise round the Med with my son before we started coming here. There was a woman doing a talk on folding napkins. Do you know I can now make a swan? Giving birth to three signets out of one twelve-inch chunky. <laughs> You're right. amazing, woman, Noreen. That'll be me. Oh, it's from Jeff. Hope weather is good. Rain in here. Tell and Coolio send love. Hope that shifty money grabbing get. Oh, tell and Coolio. Oh, I love it. Send love. Hope that shifty money grabbing get has not tried to jump your bones yet. He <laughs> <laughs> has got a good sense of humour. <laughs> your son doesn't like me, does he? 
Well, he's very protective, especially since the lottery win. All sorts of people came out of the woodwork. And he didn't want you going on holiday with a slippery old charmer you've only known for five minutes. Oh, no. He didn't say you were charming. <laughs> you were an old Navy pal of his dad's, but he didn't seem to believe it. Ah, uh, well, me and Don, we got into some real scrapes. It's a shame we lost touch. I couldn't believe it when I bumped into you after all these years. Do you mean Ron? Uh, Sorry? Uh, you said me and Don got into some real scrapes. Did I? Let's <laughs> feed the heat. And there's us by blankets. <laughs> <laughs> right, time for a siesta, I think. Are we still on for that show tonight? Um, um... My treat? Absolutely. <laughs> That's magic words. My treat. Hola. Oh, hello. Oh, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm booked in for two nights. Certainly. Uh, can I have your passport, please? Oh, yes. Oh, Jesus. Gracias. Miss Pollard. Pollard. Check-in is not until two o'clock, but in the meantime, we have a room where you can leave your clothes. Oh, brilliant. It's only a small case. I cannot seem to find you on the system. Do not worry. I'm I'm sure that you are hidden in one of my piles. Excuse me. Hello. There's a woman over there with no clothes on. Yes. She's taking all the clothes off. She's completely nude. There's a fella as well. It's all hanging out. Ah, oh, they. This is usually what you expect from an A-tourist hotel. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Dónde está mi dinero? Oh, God, he's not going to take his clothes off as well, is he? No, no, no. He seemed to think that you have not paid your taxi fare. What do you mean? Everything's supposed to be paid for. I've been booked to sing at the Benidorm Palace tomorrow night. The Benidorm Palace? Yes. You do know that you are in the Solana Hotel in Murcia, no, not in Benidorm. What's the difference? About 120 kilometers. Quiero mi dinero. Catch you all here. I'm off to track down South Pollard. Right. But don't forget, you're taking us into the old town tonight. Oh, I need bother, Mrs. Hitch. You know you can rely on me. Oh, it, it may be Leslie picking you up. But I know you're fine with that. Who's Leslie? Believe me, you don't want to know. <laughs> Constructive criticism. Sure. You were shite. What you talking about? It was good. I'm not talking about the singing. I'm talking about the act. Why are you singing old, outdated songs? Well, that's kind of my act. Well, we don't want it here. This is Mel Harvey's Benidorm Palace. We are at the cutting edge of show business. We need something fresh and vital. Something the kids today are listening to. Number fourteen. Should have known it from the very start. 
This girl will leave me with a broken heart I listen to people when I'm telling you I keep away from a run around to you yeah. I miss her lips and a smile on her face Touch my hand and this girl's woman breaks up So if you don't wanna cry like I do Yeah, yeah, that's better You're through to the next round Another round. Oh, Frig Divino. <laughs> Frig Divino. Finally, bloody rings. I'm here doing all the donkey work while he's probably sitting somewhere being fanned by a punk walla. Hello, my angel. We were just talking about you. How's it all going? What's a punk walla? Having a clue? Oh, it's all going really well. We've got some cracking acts. Have you managed to get a flight? Oh, sorry about that. I was just rinsing through a pair of tights. I put them on the radiator for tonight. No worse than a damn cousin. <laughs> I'll pass you over. It's Mel. He wants to talk about Sue Pollard. Yeah. Hello, boss. Well, our manager phoned me this morning to say she got on the plane all right, but we've heard no since. She wasn't at the rivals. Um, we'll check the salon, oh. But don't worry, Mr. Harvey. I'll track her down. God, uh, yeah, so. Yeah. so this is Pollard, uh, where is she then? Your guess is as good as mine. Tomorrow, tomorrow, oh I love you tomorrow. You're only a day away. Oh. That was not very good, no. No, no, no. Don't open that door. Open this door now. Yes? Can I help you? Can you help us? Are you taking the piss? I'm sorry. What are you doing in there? I fail to see what concern that is of yours. I'll tell you what concern it is of mine. I've got a pensioner on a karaoke downstairs been singing Do They Know It's Christmas for the last 45 minutes because every time the light dims, the machine resets itself. <laughs> How many kids have you got in there? Donald, somewhere else will have to have a go. I can't say properly. Oh, my God. That was a smashing. God dang. That's all we got for this episode. Uh, or, I mean, this part. I'm gonna love this. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section.